Hello YouTube, I'm Tom and Brad, and today we're going to look at optimizing your solar panel input and more specifically Izzy's solar alignment script. This script will automatically adjust the angle of your solar panels to get the optimum input from the sun. But not only that, it will then track the path of the sun as it moves through the sky. It's not as complicated as it may sound. I'm going to hold your hand through building the solar tower, finding the script on the workshop, installing it, setting it up, adding an LCD to display lovely nerdy numbers we all like. And also we'll look at the pros and cons of solar panels versus turbines. Do we even want to use solar panels? Well, let's find out. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it or find it useful and subscribe to easily find more of these tutorials. Subscribers are very welcome to request tutorials they'd like to see me do. Just get into the comment section and ask away. So very quickly before we start this, there are some settings that you need to check before you use any scripts in a game. First of all, let's go into options and game and make sure you've got experimental mode enabled. If you already have a game that you're playing and you want to add scripts to it, make sure you go into load game first, find your game, click on it, do edit settings, and then in the advanced button, if we scroll down, we'll see on the right hand side here, in game scripts, make sure you have a dot in that box. Okay, let's set up the hotbar. So we need the light armor block, a normal rotor, solar panel, a programmable block, an LCD panel, and a battery. Now I'm in creative mode just for ease of making this tutorial. I'm going to put this about eight high. One, two, three, eight. It doesn't really matter. It just depends on how many panels you think you're going to add to the system. On top of this, we need to place the rotor. It's just a normal rotor. There we go. And then on top of that, We'll need another block because we're going to put another two rotors on the side here. Like that. And that. Next, we'll go back to the light armor block and I'm just going to place two of them on either end. And then we'll switch to the solar panel. Same on that side. And the same underneath. like that. Now those ones are already pointing sort of towards the sun so you can see that they're getting a pretty good reading there. But next we're going to add the programmable block and set this system up. So in order for any script to work you need a programmable block. So I have one here in number seven. I'm just going to place it there. Now let's look at loading up the script. So in the programmable block panel if I just hit F on that we don't need to touch these top ones. You can rename it if you want. But down here, the one we're interested in is edit. You can ignore what's in the window there. That's just giving a little bit of information about the programmable blocks. But what I want to do is to browse the scripts. So when I go into browse scripts, it's showing you on the left hand side the scripts that I've got installed. But what we need to do is go to open in workshop. You should get a view something similar to this. What we're interested in is going to the actual home page of the workshop and going into the search option here. I'm going to type in there I S Y apostrophe S solar alignment and then click the search button. And we can see here, there's the one we're looking for. It's Izzy solar alignment script and you can see it's by Izzy. Incidentally, Izzy does some other great scripts that uh, you can have a play with. Next, what we want to do is make sure there's a tick in the box there. I've already subscribed to it, so just place a tick in that there. And then we can close down. And we're back to our list of scripts. Now, in the list here, you can see I've subscribed to a few of them, but the one I want there is this one here, is the solar alignment. I'll just click on that, then say copy to editor. Now, don't worry about what this says. There is some information in there that you might find useful if you really want to dig into it, but all we need to do at this point is click on check code. It's saying compilation successful. Just click on OK. Click on OK. Now from there, it's taken us back to our control panel or terminal view of the programmable block. So if we have a look at the bottom right hand side here, we can see Izzy Solar Alignment. You can see the little thing spinning there to say that it's running. But there's a warning message saying that there's no batteries found and do not want to store your power. 
So we're going to add a battery, but there are some other things we need to do first as well. We should click on the first rotor, because we obviously we've got the three rotors. Hold down shift, click on the last one to select all of them, and we're going to create a group out of those, and they're going to be called Solar Rotors. And we'll save that. So you might have noticed there that the solar panels have suddenly got a percentage next to them, which is quite useful. And that's telling us how efficient they are in the angle that, that they're at at the minute. Now, I already had them pointing towards the sun fairly reasonably, but it wasn't perfectly square on. You can see the rotor has turned the angle slightly there. And at a, a rough guess, I would say that that's pointing pretty much square onto the sun, but the angle is not quite right. So we need to give it some time. It does take a little while for it to work it out. So it's taken a few minutes there, but it is very slowly but surely adjusting itself and it's pretty much settled there into place. So we know now we're getting the optimum from these panels, but how much are we actually getting from them? Well, a handy thing that's been added to this script is the ability to be able to add an LCD screen to display all of this information. So let's have a look at that. So I've got it as number eight on the hotbar. I'll just pop that on there. We'll flip it around the right way. But what I need to do is I need to give this solar panel a certain name so the script knows to display the information on that screen. So let's have a look at that. I'll go back into the programmable block with F. Right at the bottom it's saying hint, build an LCD and add the main LCD keyword. That's not a one, that's an I, so it's ISA dash main in lowercase. Add that to its name. So if I look for my LCD panel and at the end of it, I'll just get rid of that three. If I put in capital ISA dash lowercase main and I didn't even hit enter, it automatically changed itself to Izzy LCD. If I quit out of that now, so there we are, it's saying amount of solar panels has changed, resetting the max values. So it's still calculating what it's doing. It's also trying to work out things like the daylight length and where the, it, the sun rises and where the sun sets. And it won't know that until you've had a full day night cycle. And it's showing us there the efficiency, the potential maximum output from these solar panels is 639. And at the minute it's got 637. So that's 99.8% efficient. I think that's pretty good. The output doesn't look very good because it hasn't got anywhere for the power to go. So what we need to do is put down a battery. So I've got a battery in number nine. Let's just load that up and I'll just pop it at the side here. So now I've added a battery to this system. You can see that the LCD panel has changed slightly. It's added this statistics for one batteries. And if we have a look at the numbers there, we can see that the input to the battery is 637.5 kilowatts, which is what the solar panels are giving out. Underneath that, it's also telling us the drain from the battery. So there's a little bit of power being used from the battery, possibly to power the programmable block. And underneath you can see the rate that it's charging there. It's on 910, 911 kilowatt hours, and it's got a total of three megawatt hours. So it's 30% charged at the minute. And we can keep an eye on that and we can see as the day goes on how that will charge. And it's also a handy quick way of seeing how much is in your batteries and if your solar panels are working okay. So four solar panels optimally placed and angled are giving me a potential, in this case, max output of 639 kilowatts. What sort of output do we get from one wind turbine that's optimally placed? Let's have a look. This wind turbine is nine blocks from the ground, including the one in the ground. We'll have a look at the output from that. Down here, we can see the max output is 435 kilowatts compared to four solar panels optimally placed, giving out 639 kilowatts so very roughly if i remove one of these panels the output from that 478 compared to 439 it's very similar so three solar panels optimally placed and angled gives roughly the same power output as a turbine that is optimally placed as well so obviously the big differences between these two systems, you need sunlight for the solar panels to work. So if the sun has gone behind the planet, they're not doing anything. You need wind for the turbine to work. So if you're on the moon or you're in space, the turbine isn't an option because there is no wind. If I was going to use solar panels to power my base, I don't think I'd be going for just four panels. I certainly wouldn't waste my time with the script and everything just for four little panels. The output I'm getting now, 
Here's 3.8 megawatts, which is quite good. However, the battery can take an input of 12 megawatts to charge it at its fastest rate. So it would still need even more to get that charging as fast as it can. So we've got to weigh up the cost of these sort of systems. The cost of a turbine is pretty low. Some interior plate, computer, a girder, construction components, motor, and some uh, more interior plates. Whereas with the solar panel, you're going to need not only the solar panels themselves, which includes solar cells, and you need silicon to make solar cells. So if you haven't found silicon yet, it's not so good. But then you also need to make the three rotors and you would need to make the programmable block. You don't need the LCD screen, but it's quite useful. So it's quite expensive to make. If you have the option of either of them, personally, I would just go straight for the turbines. But if your only option is solar, then this is a great system and it's quite good fun to set up too. Remember to hit like on the way out and subscribe to find more videos. And I'll see you soon. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.